Welcome everyone, be it a student, be it a teacher, and be it any person who actually values knowledge. We are going to embark on a discussion and our discussion today will center on a very important area in as far as the lives of both animals, human beings, and plants are concerned. We will discuss a very important topic in as far as any scientist is concerned. And this topic is going to actually help us understand why organisms are able to perceive or detect changes in the environment and respond to them appropriately. The topic we are going to discuss today is response, perception, and coordination. To rearrange those words, it will read reception, response, and coordination. This clearly tells us that any living organism must be able to receive or to detect or to perceive a change within its environment and be able to respond appropriately. But the only way an organism can be able to respond to a particular change in the environment is having a well-coordinated system that can be able to integrate the information received in a way that the appropriate information is delivered to the effector organs so that the organism responds appropriately. To be able to discuss in detail how both plants and animals are able to respond to, respond to changes in the environment, we are going to look at the definition of some terms and after that we shall look at types of changes in the environment that can be able to make organisms to respond appropriately. Someone is wondering, what is response? What is perception? What is irritability or sensitivity? And what is coordination? I will be able to define them one by one, such that as we progress to other areas in the topic, you will have a clear understanding of how organisms receive stimuli from the environment, respond to the stimuli, by the aid of that coordinated system that helps the organism to interpret the information and be able to help the organism to interpret the information very well and respond to the stimuli appropriately. What have I said? In reception, response, and coordination, there are very, very important terms that a student needs to get introduced to before progressing forward to be able to discuss some other areas which are very, very important. Number one, a student needs to understand the meaning of irritability or sensitivity. This was a term that a student first found while getting introduced to biology while in Form 1. In Form 1, we had clearly said, and the definition does not change, that irritability or sensitivity is actually a process, a scientific process, which is actually a characteristic of living organisms that actually involves the ability of organisms to perceive or detect changes in the environment and respond to them appropriately. Sensitivity or irritability the ability of organisms to detect or perceive changes in the environment and respond to them appropriately. That is the meaning of irritability or sensitivity. The second term is what we refer to as response. Response is a change in the activity of an organism a change in the activity of an organism that is actually directly related to variation in condition within a particular environment. A change in the activity of an organism that is 
directly related to a variation in the condition in a particular environment where the organism is actually found. So we can be able to actually sum up the definition and be able to say like this. When someone talks about response, is actually a change in the activity of part of or of the whole organism due to a variation in a condition within an environment. A change in activity of part of or the whole organism due to a variation in condition within an environment. So an organism changes in activity in as far as only part of that organism or in as far as the whole organism in relation to a particular change in condition of a particular environment. A change in activity of parts of an organism or the whole organism due to a variation in condition within an environment. So, what is response? Response is a change in activity of part of an organism or the whole organism due to variation in a particular condition within the environment. That is response. Then what do we actually mean when we say we have the effectors and the receptors? The receptors are parts of the body of an organism that perceive or receive stimuli. We'll say stimuli if the changes in the environment are many or stimulus if the change is one. So receptors are parts of an organism's body that perceive or receive stimuli. What are effectors? Effectors are parts of an organism's body that bring about change in activity of that organism. I'm saying effectors are parts of an organism's body that bring about change in the activity of that organism as it tries to respond. Effectors are actually parts of an organism's body that bring about change as the organism tries to respond to a particular stimulus. The parts of the body that bring about change in the activity of the organism as it tries to respond to any change within its environment. What is stimulus or what are stimuli? A stimulus is a variation in condition within a particular environment that brings about a change in the activity of an organism. A stimulus, which is one, is a variation in condition within a particular environment that brings about change in an organism's activity. For example, I can use one example to be able to explain this in detail. I will say, for example, if I put my finger on a very sharp object, this becomes the receptor. It is the one perceiving or detecting change. After that one, I have what you call the effector. We have the biceps and the triceps, which will undergo the contraction and relaxation to bring about the change. That is the change in position of that hand. I am saying, if I put a finger on top of a sharp object, that sharp object, which actually pierces through my skin, will be able to actually get referred to as a condition which can now be able to actually bring about change in the activity of this organism. For example, a child accidentally puts a finger on a sharp object. The sharp object pricks the finger. That pricking is actually a change in condition. That end part of the finger becomes the receptor because it has received the stimulus. The biceps and triceps will become 
the effectors. They are the ones to undergo contraction and relaxation to bring about change in the activity of that part of the organism's body. So the effectors will actually bring about the change in the activity of an organism as it tries to actually respond to the change in the environment. The receptors will receive or perceive the stimuli or the change in condition. The stimuli is that condition or that variation in condition within the environment that brings about change in an organism. We have also said that response is actually that change in activity by an organism, either by part of that organism or the whole organism. Such that it can actually be able to show response to be able to survive or find a better environment to be able to stay in. From that, a student is supposed to get introduced to what you call types of stimuli.